Hey, Fred from the Laptop Barn here. Today we're going to show you how to remove and replace the battery on a Dell Precision 5560 laptop. The Dell Precision 5560 um, requires a couple of special tools. The, the, the real small screws on the bottom of this, so you need a little small hex head screwdriver. You'll see when you turn it over and try to put your screwdriver in that you needed a small one. A regular uh, Phillips screwdriver and then also a, we use a little pry tool. You could use a flathead screwdriver, but um, you need to pry the top and the bottom pieces up at one point during the installation. Okay, here's the battery you're going to change. It's an 86 watt hour. Model 69KF2. I'll put that in the comments below. You get these on eBay for about $50, $60. It's a heavy duty battery. It does not come with a cable, but when you take the old uh, um, battery out, you can reuse the cable. So, okay, to begin with, we've got to take the bottom off. So you're going to turn the laptop upside down. Now, this is where those small hex head screws, and you get your little teeny screwdriver there and they're very small screws so be careful when you set them you put them in a position where you don't lose them because they're not a normal everyday screw not sure why they did this some engineer owned a screw manufacturing company on the side <coughs> work your way around the perimeter it's about eight of these screws Real, again, real small. The worst part here is dropping them and you won't hear them hit the ground. They're that small. So you want to just carefully place them. <coughs> now, once you've got this base undone, we're going to need to pry the top and bottom plastic cover and case apart. They're just held together with some plastic tabs at this point. Just be careful. We use, find a spot where you can get it started. Sometimes... Actually, sometimes I turn it up on end um, and then get at the, um, get at a little, if you find a little gap between the top and the bottom, like right there, we'll just kind of get in there and you got to, the whole idea is you got to pry this and once you get it started, it's fine, but just trying to be somewhat careful. And again, it, they're nothing mechanically holding it other than a couple of plastic tabs. But the first time they've been taken apart, they're a little tight. So just, there you go. I got it. Now get my finger in there. Get a little leverage. And I'll try that again. We got it started there. But you can see the idea. The idea is you just pry those two parts apart and so then once you do that that whole bottom case just comes right off now you've exposed everything inside and there's your battery it runs the whole length of the laptop that 86 watt hour type 86 kf2 it's held in there by several screws again small but they are phillips um we're gonna next take those off uh, probably Go a little better with a smaller smaller screwdriver but uh, they are Phillips head just uh, trying it with my number one Phillips here yeah I'm gonna swap that a little just a real small Phillips screwdriver okay now the mission here is to take uh, all these fasteners off so that we can remove the old battery before we install the new one. These new flat battery designs, um, not my favorite. They're, they're all doing it to, to get a real thin package. They only last about three years. I, they seem to trap too much heat inside there. And they're lithium ion, just like you're going to have in your car. One of these only last three years. Your car will probably last three months little editorial from an ex-GM engineer. Okay, continue around the perimeter of the battery. 
there's a total of seven little screws that hold this thing in. Kind of over-engineered, but hey, got extra screws around. Now, um, again, I mentioned that there's a cable that connects the battery to the motherboard. That cable's reusable, so when you buy a battery, it probably will not come with a cable, but you can just use the cable from the old battery, because chances are there's nothing wrong with the cable. It's just that the battery has uh, exceeded its normal life. Usually these will mushroom right up when they're bad. This one isn't too bad. Now there's where that cable is connected. On the right side, it just pulls off the motherboard. No tool required. Just pull it off. And then it's connected to the battery. Again, you would just pull that off. And um, we can reuse that on the, uh, on the new battery. So I just snapped it onto this new battery. So again, same cable. Now we just, uh, well, yeah, you should plug it in first. And again, it just pushes in. Just be careful and don't force it. But if you get it lined up, kind of, a, if you got big thumbs, it's, it can be tricky to line up. But once you get it lined up, it just pushes right into the connectors, a locating member in the center that will help you locate it. And then it'll snap right in. That's all there is to it. Now you, um, Get the battery into position, make sure it's in there good and snug. And the rest of the procedure now is you got to reassemble these seven screws that took it out. About that simple. Now, a lot of times, when, as soon as I get that battery reconnected, even before I put these screws in, you could turn the laptop over carefully and power it up just to make sure that you got your connection is good with that connector and that your battery that you just purchased is a good one. That way, just in case you had a problem, you wouldn't need to totally disassemble everything to fix the problem. For demonstration purposes here, since I'm interested in showing you the procedure, I'm going to go ahead and put the screws in and uh, button this up but uh, if you so chose uh, it doesn't hurt anything to power it up at this point just be careful you don't set the laptop on anything metal but if you were to just turn it over gently and hit the power on button uh, it'll power up and you'll know that your battery's good so again or get all those little screws fastened back down just like they came in And we are going to now put the back of the case on. Um, again, it just snaps in place. Very well designed. It just slips right into place without a whole lot of extra pushing and shoving. Now you get that little hex head screwdriver out and re-put in these little screws that hopefully you haven't lost in this process. Little suckers. Not sure why they didn't use just a regular one. I think somebody tried to get fancy. There's no mechanical advantage one way or the other to having these little screws versus just a regular old Phillips screw. Um, but that is what it is. So um, that will finish your process. Once you've uh, put these screws in and got it buttoned back up, you're going to be good to go. Hope you enjoyed the video and good luck in changing your battery. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button. Subscribe to our channel. We come out with tips and tricks uh, periodically to help our customers. We sell laptops mainly on eBay. Come visit our eBay store, Skis3535. Put that link down below. Hey, thanks for watching. And once again, good luck in your endeavors.